Hey Josh, explain to me your inspiration, where you got the idea from, what you've modified yourself. We found a design like this in the book. Okay. So I built it and made some little modifications. What did you modify? I used different pins for the parts right here. And okay. And I used slightly bigger wheels. Okay. And I found out that you don't actually need a program. You know what would help if you just take a wire and connect it to another That's me taught us over there, it. dude. That's what I said that we should go over there for. That's okay. So if you just spin the wheel, it'll turn this motor. Right, so as I look at what you have, it seems like you start to turn the, the legs around, but then your motor pushes up. If you had your, your, your motor staying more put or more in place, which might work when you attach it to the brick, it looks like you could force the legs to do the moving rather than the motor to do the moving. So that's what you want to focus on is getting those legs to do the moving. Okay? Cool.